In my office, I usually use the pumps. I don't like this squeezy bottle. That's too much uh, work. <clears throat> And then for my Swedish, I like to do oil application from the side of the table. And I do kind of three or four passes. You notice I get all the way down here, to the side. Here. More effleurage. When you use your body to pull up, that feels amazing to the patient rather than just standing still and using your arms. You can even see her tissue move. And I can hook underneath the scapula. That feels awesome. I take up the entire room. <clears throat> so for petrissage, on this back, because my table is low, I can work from the opposite side. Depending on the size of my patient with the back, I would be working on the same side. You also notice I lean on the table a lot, making sure that I am not leaning on my patient. I can't do that with every patient. And being mindful of not to go too far down so I don't accidentally come in contact with breast tissue. And then moving. Now watch this transition. This is one that tends to be a challenge of how to transition to the opposite side of the back. Has so anyone had a hard time with that? I'm going to turn my hands. Okay. Let me see that one more time. I need to do that around a cord. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. So I just kind of stop and do some petrissage on the top of the back and then move. Neglect the middle of the back with your petrissage. Petrissage is, is not just for the sides of the back, it's also for up the spine. Even if you can't get much tissue, it still feels really nice and you are actually still doing that therapeutic um, effect of creating space. And I like to spend kind of some extra time up here. Where's that pressure up here, Carla? That feels good. One to ten? Uh, six. Six. Okay. <clears throat> if I didn't have a bandage on my arm, I would be getting both of my forearms in here. This is a ringing. I kind of like to visualize, I just left everything up with petrissage and I'm kind of pushing it back together. <clears throat> 